hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and today we have a very very important topic to discuss with y'all so if you own a strike pack dominator or a strike pack eliminator and you have some issues connecting that's probably why i clicked on the video like <laughs> I'm Shippo5 and in this video I'm going to be showing y'all, explaining to y'all some potential reasons why your strike pack dominator or eliminator is not connecting properly or you're having like connection issues or you're just having issues and I'm going to offer some troubleshooting tips for y'all to like get y'all back into the game because I know it's super frustrating when your strike pack doesn't work or it has problems like it's been working for the past one two three four five months and all of a sudden it just has a problem that you don't know how to fix so yeah before the video actually starts don't forget to like the video and subscribe and actually turn on the notifications in case you miss another video about a strike pack related topic or a pc or just seeing my face or something but yeah let's get into the video so if you're actually having trouble connecting your strike pack dominator to your pc or your laptop the first thing you should double check are the basics of course is to make sure that your usb is not damaged and securely plugged into the strike pack and your computer sometimes a loss of connection can lead to issues and if you have another usb available try swapping it out so you know that it's not the actual usb that has the problem because when i first got the strike pack like i don't know how to explain this but the sh like the cord right it goes in right but then it goes in again you feel me so then, then you hear that sound of the strike back so it's not like it's not like it just goes in oh it's stable no like it actually has to go in and click you guys don't hear that pop sound and you're supposed to hear that pop sound when you plug it in to show that it's plugged in properly and you see mine is now glowing orange or is this basically glowing orange to show that it's work it's uh plugged in properly so if that works properly for you and you're still having issues let's go to the second part so the next step is actually to verify that you have the correct drivers and the firmware installed to your strike pack dominator so you like can visit the manufacturer like the website they have their own website even where they where you can basically update the strike pack specifically and you can like customize it but for this video it's like to just update it to make sure it's not because this actually does update. Sometimes I'm just doing something else and it updates by itself. Not this specifically, but the Strike Pack app, SCP Toolkit that I use, it updates by itself. Obviously, make sure to check like for the latest drivers and the firmware updates specifically to your device model. Because actually, when you open up the Strike Pack, uh, it's very specific. My Strike Pack says Collective Minds PS4 Strike Pack V2. Some of y'all do not say V2 so there's a difference and the, there's obviously a difference with the eliminator as well that's the one with the four buttons so just make sure you get the specific one and download it and install these updates to ensure that the compatibility with your pc and your laptop operating system system are actually compatible you know because if one's outdated or if one's the wrong version it's not going to correct properly so that might fix your problem as well if not let's go to the next one uh, another factor that can affect the connection is actually the USB port you're using on your PC and laptop and I had to figure this out the hard way when I first got mine because I have a laptop and it has three USB ports two on the side and one at the back some USB ports may not provide enough power for the strike back resulting in connection issues so what you need to do is if the first two tips I gave you guys like they there was no problem with the updating there was no problem with the actual port itself it's not damaged actually try switching the usb port of your computer or your laptop to see if it like resolves the problem additionally avoid using usb hubs or extension cables uh as they can like they can sometimes they don't supply enough power like for me i have this usb hub i'm just using it for the video purposes but normally i don't plug my strike pack into this because it doesn't have enough power i normally plug it into the pc direct and i have a specific side i plug it in i don't know why when i plug it into that side it it, it the strike pack feels faster or it just feels like i have less input delay on that side so if you're been using a usb hub to connect your strike pack try using the normal like usb ports because this does give me problems sometimes that's why i personally don't use it so the fourth solution is it's possible that your antivirus and firewall software are interfering the connection between the strike back dominator and your pc or laptop temporarily 
is a keyword temporarily disable your antivirus and firewall before connecting your strike pack and see if it makes a difference remember to enable them once you're done testing because that might be something that's hindering you know because this is just not a normal controller there's a lot of stuff even microsoft c plus plus visuals is into this strike pack which is so weird so just try disabling your antivirus for a while and like plug it in and see if everything works properly then if there's no difference turn it back on because I don't want you to get a virus on your PC or laptop. So for people that are on console, because console normally connects easy, like basically automatic, you don't need an extra app or you don't need anything. But if you are having problem with your console, uh, if you're using a strike pack on like your PS4 or your Xbox or whatever it is, uh, try to connect it to your PC and ensure that your console's firmware is up to date sometimes outdated firmware on your console can cause compatibility issues with the pc connection same thing if this is out of date it might cause some problems connecting to your pc same thing with your console if you're using this on your ps4 ps5 or xbox s or is it x series or xbox 360 whatever it may be if your console is not up to date just connect it to your PC and make sure it's up to date. Then connect your strike pack as well to your PC to make sure that's up to date. Then it should fix that problem. Solution number six is uh, a classic troubleshooting step, but one that often works wonders. You know, simply restart your PC or your laptop, then try to connect your strike pack dominator again. Sometimes a simple system reboot can solve the various connection issues, and it's actually helped me a lot. Sometimes I'm playing and it's just feeling weird even like they actually did connect but it feels weird like i'm lagging it's giving me like weird stick drift or something like that and i simply just restart my entire pc and it's it sounds super simple but it works so if yours doesn't even start in the first place maybe just restart your pc then the connection will be able to work properly if everything else hasn't worked for you yet is to rule out all the problems with your pc and your laptop and try connecting your strike pack dominator to another computer or laptop uh, if it works fine on a different laptop uh the issues likely lies in the original pc's configuration maybe your pc just has a problem basically because if it can connect on another person's pc like maybe try your siblings or your parents or just your friend's PC and see if it works properly. Yeah, you know it's your PC that has a problem. I don't know why specifically. There might there's a lot of things that could be wrong with someone's PC making the strike pack not to work, but that's something to work out as well. Number eight is if you've tried all the troubleshooting steps I've mentioned and you're still facing problems, don't hesitate to like contact, like don't be scared to contact the manufacturer, the people that you bought it from. Maybe they sell they sold you a faulty one. You know because uh, they can provide personalized assistance you know for your specification you know, because they're the one that created this thing so they know how it should operate and might be aware of specific issues re related to your model of your strike pack because i told you there's different models of the strike pack they all look the same but when you open it up some says different stuff in here because there's different models there's different versions of it basically and the ninth step which is the final step the same thing you did with your pc try a different controller if your controller is the problem we'll know if you like connect your friends or your siblings controller and to the strike pack and it actually does connect properly it doesn't give you any issues and that just means your controller for some reason is not comp compatible or your controller has like the controller you originally wanted to play with has a problem with the strike pack i hope you guys found these tips actually helpful you'll be back to gaming in no time if you did all the tips especially the last one which is contacting the manufacturer which is like the super super last thing you should do that means nothing else worked <laughs> and if you have any additional questions feel free to share them in the comment section below or join my discord in the, in the description y'all know i'll be answering y'all i'll be doing like uh discord screen shares and helping you all to fix your stuff and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you actually found it useful if it helped you if it's something that you haven't seen before and yeah subscribe to my gaming channel because i have gaming related content but i'm about to start changing into vlogging and stuff but thanks for watching the video till this end and just because you tuned in so long yeah, is a personal personal private guitar session by your professional singer Sheepo5 ah, ah, ah. Let me give you a bar Yeah 
yeah, yo, subscribe to my YouTube, Shape of Five. If you don't, I will not be happy. So please do it for me. This is kind of cringe, so I'm gonna stop. <clears throat>